Alright, everyone, how's it going? This is Rex Rexford here, and welcome back to an uh, anime series tutorial series for Beginners Part 5. And this episode, we're going to go and do some simple rigging to our character that we've created here. And uh, that's all we're pretty much going to be doing this episode, just setting up a character for animation, putting some bones on his ligaments, and getting them all ready for a future tutorial, which is going to be uh, how to actually animate this character here. Um, however, beforehand, um, I am going to show you guys kind of the extras of rigging. And uh, for, those of you guys, or for those of you guys unfamiliar geez, with the term of rigging, um, it's basically setting up your character with animation by means of bones or some other tool that are or that is similar um, two bones, which in most cases it just means you're just going to put some bones on your character so that you can have an easier time moving him around and uh, all that fun stuff. So, uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. And I'm um, just going to be basically putting some bones in our character. We're not going to be going over the uh, more advanced stuff that you can do with bones, but just getting them all ready and all set up so that we can kind of use him later in uh, future tutorials. So, anyway. Uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and begin, and also really quick, actually, for those of you guys who are wondering um, why the texture on my little character here is um, a bit different than last time, uh, the reason for that is, you know, let me go and change that really quick, but the reason for that is, um, I just didn't really like the last texture that I had in my character, so I went ahead and simply just changed it to something new, and uh, that's pretty much what I came up with, just a little... Uh, neat little shirt design thing there but anyway that is pretty much the case with that uh, so yeah with that in mind let's just go ahead and begin <laughs> so you guys are curious about why this texture is different alright so the first thing we're going to go and do when uh, creating bones for our character here is you'll notice over here in the bone uh, subsection of the tools palette that none of these bone options are actually available to us and to get those available to us we're going to go over here to our layers palette and click on the new layer button and we're going to go and create a bone layer very nice and we're going to go and double click on this and just rename it to character there we are and now what we're going to do now is you'll notice when we create our bone layer uh, some of these options over here become available to us and we do have now the ability to both create bones or rather add bones and select bones However, what we're going to do first is, just because we have a bone layer and we have the ability to uh, create bones, it doesn't mean that we can actually apply them to our character just yet. Now to do that, what we're going to go ahead and do is click and drag the new bone layer, rather the character bone layer, below all of our current layers that we have, of our little character here. And we're going to simply click and drag the very top layer, that, it, or rather the layer that's on top of our uh, character bone layer here, and click and drag it right on top of our bone layer. And you'll see when we do that, we get this little red kind of uh, highlight here on our uh, bone layer. And that's good, that basically means that you're going to, if you uh, release the uh, current mouse button which you're holding, that it's going to go inside of your bone layer, which is exactly what we want, so I'm going to go and do that. There we go, and basically what we're doing is we are adding layers in which we want to add bones to inside of this bone layer, which is going to enable us to add bones on that certain layer. And we're going to go ahead and put those together in, you know what, oh, just a minute, sorry guys. Alright everyone, I apologize for that brief infor, uh, or not information, that brief interruption, <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, brief interruption, and uh, let's go ahead and get back on track here, what we're going to go ahead and do now is, um, I can't remember here if I was explaining this or not, but, um, I don't believe I was. Um, so anyway, what we're gonna go and do now, nonetheless, is, um, simply click and drag all the rest of the remaining layers into our little bone character layer here. As so. And there we are. Now what we're going to go ahead and do now that all of our different layers are in this bone layer, that basically means that all of these layers are subject to bones. And um, what that means is um, we can basically add bones to each one of these individual layers and it will act independently on each one of these different, uh, I guess to use the same word twice, layers. And um, that's pretty much what we want for the most part. Um, that is kind of how this is going to work here. That's simple little rig that we're going to do. Um, however, I just want to let you guys know something um, before we continue on here. Um, you'll notice that when we uh, created our little character bone layer here, we clicked and dragged it all the way below there. Um, all of our different layers here. And the reason for that is if we were to keep it on the top and click and drag all the different layers within our uh, little layer palette here into our bone layer that way, um, the organization would get a bit messy 
and that would cause layers to be on top of other layers, which don't need to be on top of other layers, which would cause our uh, arms and stuff to be on top of our bodies, and all that different kinds of stuff. So basically, we just clicked and dragged all of those, um, or rather our bone layer, underneath all of those other layers, um, just so the order stayed the same. And you're going to want to do the same as well if you create another character like this, um, in this kind of, uh, I guess, setup. So just get, uh, keep that in mind for next time. Alright, so what we're going to go and do now is add some simple bones to our character, but before we do that, we're going to go and do something that is very, very vital to adding bones here, just to make sure that we don't inherit any other problems um, when we add our bones, which I guess we really have any, uh, haven't had any problems yet, but you know, just in case um, we encounter some, or just, ah, so we don't encounter some down the road. There we go, just got to pause for a minute, think about it, and then say what we're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and click on our first layer here, which is our, uh, which is our head layer. Go to our Translate Layer tool, and we're going to go ahead and click and drag this yeah, about there. And we're going to do the same with everything else, the body, maybe drag that down a little bit here. And what we're doing is just simply separating everything away from each other, just so we don't get any interference when we add the bones themselves. And it doesn't matter if it's out of your little area here. Um, you just want to make sure that each layer is pretty far away from each other. Like so. Okay, and I'm actually going to move my head layer just a bit higher there. Alright, this might be a little bit extreme, but still, um, it will make sure that you don't encounter any problems uh, later on when you're rigging your character. But uh, basically, what we're going to do now is we're simply going to go onto our little bone layer here. And I'm just going to click on it once. And what we're going to go ahead and do now is um, we're going to go ahead and add bones to each one of these individual uh, pieces of our character's body here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is um, click on the add bone layer, as I just stated. And uh, make sure you're on the, uh, well I guess of course if you have the uh, add bone layer option here, you're of course on the uh, character bone layer. Um, and what you're going to want to do is actually start off in your character's body. And hold shift and click and drag up to create a bone there and simply click and drag up on your head layer as well to create a bone there and then proceed to go to your uh, little arm layer here and it doesn't really matter if you do your arm layer first or your leg layer first um, all that matters is that you do your um, and you know what um, I believe you could do that uh, you know what I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, create a bone going downwards there we go Alright, but uh, anyway, as I was always saying, it doesn't really matter how you do this um, in the order, um, but you do want to make sure that you just start from your body layer and your head layer, so you don't have to run into problems later. Um, but now what we're going to go ahead and do is, now that we've created all these bones, um, you'll notice that our head and our body and our arms and our legs and everything else is um, still, you know, pretty separated, and that's not necessarily what we want. So how we're going to go ahead and fix that is we're going to go down here to our little uh, offset bone tool, and we're going to click that. And you'll notice that when we click and drag on a bone, it moves separately. However, before we start moving everything back into place, which is what we're going to do um, with that tool, we're going to go ahead and do what's called parenting. And parenting bones is basically, you go over here to our little uh, repair and bone tool, hotkey P by the way, um, you'll notice that everything is kind of all wonky. Um, for instance, our uh, uh, little arm layer here is parented to our uh, foot layer, or leg layer, and uh, likewise for our leg layer over here is parented to our little arm layer. That's definitely not what we want to have. Um, what we want to go and do is just hold shift and select all these different layers here. Um, however, we don't want to select our body layer and our head layer because we did those two layer first, or two layers first rather, which depending on which layers you do in which order, um, is basically depending what's going to be parented to what. So since we did these two first, this is parented to this, and uh, that's pretty much how we want that, so that's going to be good. Alright, now what we're going to go ahead and do is um, we're going to go ahead and you'll notice I had all those layers selected. I hit uh, parent tool and then I clicked off, which basically de-parents everything. Now to re-parent, we're going to go and click on a, uh, I guess a bone here. And uh, because everything is going to be parented to our little body layer here, we can simply just click on everything else, hit the re-parent tool, and click on our body bone layer. And there we go, everything is automatically parented to our body bone layer, that's exactly what we want. Now what we're going to do next is go down to our offset bone tool, and just kind of move everything right back into place here. Just click on the bones, there we go. There we go. Same thing here. 
And same thing here. And same thing here. So now you'll notice everything is right back to where it was for the most part. And let's say we want to go ahead and test out our bones. Make sure everything is where we kind of want it at. And uh, this is how we want to uh, kind of have the rig for our character. So to test this out, we can go over here to our manipulate bone option. Click it once and just simply move a bone. And there you go. Now you can see that we can move all of our different bones. And um, the only problem is our little head here, as well as some of our other objects, can move kind of inside of our character's body. And we don't really want that happening. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go up here to our little bone options. And um, what we're going to be using is called bone constraints to kind of fix that problem. However, um, you'll notice that when we click off this little manipulate bones option, or this, uh, I guess, kind of offset bones option here as well, um, our character gets kind of like blown up back to where he was before. And the reason for that is because if you're clicking another option besides these two options, um, you're, it's going to basically go back to when our character's all blown up, just if you case, uh, or if, or in case you want to uh, kind of move everything back around or edit stuff or whatever. And it's kind of just keeping it separate like that. So that's pretty good, I guess, if you want to uh, kind of have that there. Um, however, if you don't want to really see that, if it kind of gets in the way of your other animations, you can simply go over here, and I forgot to mention this in our little layers kind of, uh, uh, part of the tutorial, but down here there's these little eyeballs, and if you click one of these eyeballs, you can kind of toggle the visibility on and off of a layer. Now, you'll notice as well, if you double click on a layer, there's this little visible tab here. And um, I'm going to be getting this to, or getting into this a little later on this tutorial series. Um, but just note that that is not the same thing as this little uh, eyeball uh, kind of hide feature right here. Um, but yeah, basically that's kind of that. And uh, I'm going to go and end the tutorial off here because we pretty much got a simple rig going on. And everything works for the most part how we want it to work so far. And um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to go and show you guys how to use constraints and um, all the different kinds of stuff to make this uh, kind of character more lifelike in his limb abilities and such. Uh, but for now, uh, guys, this has been Rex Furry. Feel free to comment in this video, um, as well as even subscribe to my channel for upcoming updates on future videos, including the uh, tutorial series videos, as you see here, um, on Anime Studio, I guess, as I failed to say there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, and um, feel free to keep watching I really failed there I don't know what why did I even say that I was like feel free to and then I kind of had to fill it there but anyway <laughs> I'm sure you guys are bored enough listening to me talk so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off now and I'll see you guys next video